Okay. Yeah, there's like three practices a day like that. And like, you came in at the wrong time. You came in at the wrong Bruh. time. I'm going to need you to step out real quick, mother. Thank you. Absolute Bro. worst time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I promise you I love my mom, but like terrible time. My demons in the chat. Y'all must see me real quick. What's good, fellas? <laughs> it's finally time for a, a part two. You feel me? Your boy in the in the in the Pope outfit. The Lord has arrived. I gotta get in the lobby first. Um, straight, how are we gonna do this, bro? All right, everybody that's here, join the server as soon as you see it posted and at me to be added to the list. I'm gonna start adding all of you guys. After I put you on the list, then you're going to be pulled into the chat with me and Hook. And then, um, yeah, that's how we'll get you. Here we go. You are in with Father Hook. Please <laughs> unmute and confess your sins. This about females. Hopefully y'all in the chat can learn. I applied to Wendy's. <laughs> You were okay. You know, hard working. Wendy's is yes, hard sir. work. I got the job, you feel me? But at the interview, I peeped this Cape Verdean girl. The next time I came in for my orientation, so I was in the company room doing that. My ass waited until she was alone with me. You already you sounded like a criminal, brother. And then once she got in the room with me, you feel me? I said, yo, you look kind of cute. You feel me? I saw you when I was at the interview. I said, yo, you kind of fine. And then she said, thanks, dude. <laughs> Damn, she my hit you with dropped. the dude. She should have just said, bro, that would have hit too. But after that, I tried to keep it going, you feel me? Oh, so nah, I said, you should have you took that I, L. You know what time it was when she said that, I man. I said, yo, like, can I get your number, this and that? And she said she didn't got a number. <laughs> and then I said, can I get your snap? She, she said, I don't got a snap. She didn't even try to lie. She said, I don't bro, got a number. Knowing damn well that phone in that pocket, bro. After that, bro, it was so awkward. Because it was she, it was just silence, bro. Like, I didn't uh. say nothing. It was just silence, and we was both in the room alone, and then she just got up and left. To be honest, not not nothing too crazy, you know. Fellas take L's with with girls yeah. all the time. Nothing crazy, but I, I can see to... why this is something pretty fucking embarrassing. I would say, bro, bro, I had this story ready for months, but yeah, I never wanted to boot up confession again. <laughs> hey, bro, it's on deck for like four months. Yeah, <laughs> my yeah, fault, talk brother. To him, talk to him. We, we my my fault. You spitting, but relax, bro. This. It, it takes time to be in the zone to do this. Yeah, I. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, be gone, child. Your 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 uh your embarrassment has been forgiven, bro. Uh, straight, 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 straight. If you add this into the video, I'ma just say uh, subscribe to the goddamn channel, man. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, child. What brings you in here today? We can't hear you, bro. If you're speaking. Is that working? All right, brother. What brings you here? About two years ago, my one of my exes came back from, from out of town. Okay. So we hung out, and then post two years, she has this little kid, looks just like me. Bar. She didn't say anything. What? But, Wait, hold on, you're lagging again, brother? This you... is adding to the story. I yeah. like this story. Hold <laughs> up, hold up. <laughs> Wait, wait, so she had a kid we, or that looks like you? Yeah. That, that's that. That's this. That, that's a. Uh, oh, that's it. He has a, a fella. Oh no, she's got a fella, and he's like, "Hey man, this kid kind of looks like you." I'm like, "Nah, that ain't me, bro." They got a house. <laughs> Even though her boyfriend said that. Together. She's just like, "Ah, oh, nah, that no, nah, that ain't him." So, so is it actually your kid everything. though? Oh yeah. Bruh. <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah." I, I can't say nothing. Bro, nah, this <laughs> you need nothing. Brother, you need to go on Mari ASAP, bro. No cap. <laughs> that this is the exact situations Marvin, you got to Mari up, brother. Wait, so uh, are you just content with letting that man take care of your father? I mean, your father take care of your son, I guess. <laughs> For now. <laughs> oh nah, you bro, you gotta go. <laughs> nah, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> this is fatherless behavior in real time, bro. <laughs> What you mean for now, bro? When are you ever? It's at that stage where I don't want to be there. Wow. Damn. That's crazy, bro. Char <laughs> character development. Bro, which you need a betrayal story first? Your, your son about to come for you, bro. He gonna be like, I must kill my real father now. Bro, he gonna come for you, bro. I hope he does. 
<laughs> nah, yeah, you a villain. You not forgiving, bro. The ex boyfriend, uh, having like, is he taking care of that kid? Oh, he thinks it's his. Oh, he thinks it's his. Oh, you're a demon. Yes. You're actually a demon, bro. Bam. I feel bad for that guy, <laughs> but he's a clown. <laughs> to be honest, he is. <laughs> you're a demon, bro. You are not forgiven. Take care of that goddamn <laughs> child. That's your child, man. What you doing? <laughs> All right, so uh, my confession, bro. Yes. I fucking sh myself the other day, bro. <laughs> the other day? Yes, literally other fucking day. <laughs> We're talking a week ago? <laughs> no, 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 no. Literally like two days ago. <laughs> bro, <laughs> why? What, bro? How and why? <laughs> I'm outside. I, uh, I'm outside walking around. And then <laughs> I'm on the phone and, and I call, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I was like, yo, let me call you back, bro. I'm sprinting i'm trying not to make a mess in my pants bro sure i get shit. to the bathroom everywhere Where bro they up? everywhere Ugh, no way so you were already pantsed while you were coming to the to the crib no nah, i was i was sprinting i was trying to avoid that i was trying to avoid that <laughs> my man was prairie dog you know? <laughs> oh no bro what you mean how old are you bro i'm 23 years old <laughs> 23, brother? <laughs> you just yeah, shitting bro, on yourself, I'm... bro? So it was everywhere on the bathroom floor? Yeah, dude, yeah. Do you live alone? <laughs> nah, I'm, uh, my parents would let me crash here until uh, I get a car, so. Oh, nah, don't tell me they found that shit out. No, f no, I okay. cleaned that shit up, bro. Okay, okay, I was about to say, because that, that would have truly been a f***ing tragedy, man. What would have been worse if, is uh, my girl was trying to come over and... Uh... <laughs> I told her, like, uh, you can't, it's a mess right now, bro. <laughs> bro, you gotta confess to her one day, bro. <laughs> just be like, Hell yo, no, yeah, like, I Hell just came no. to the spot and I just sh everywhere on the floor, bro. <laughs> I, I told my boys and my boys were like, bro, you're f***ing foul, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> that sh just doesn't happen to, to regular no, fellas, I, man. I'm forgiven. Yeah, forgiven. you're forgiven, man. You did that sh on your own time, <laughs> but <laughs> if, if anybody else would have saw that sh then you would have been, you wouldn't have been forgiven. Legit, because oh, that enough, that would have traumatized a fella. Bro. It's better make it in the video, man. I'm gonna be pissed if it don't. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the funniest one so far. All right, Thanks, All right bro. brother. Y'all take it easy. Okay, what brings you here, my son? All right, so like, this was kind of demonic, but like, you gotta give me a little bit of leeway because I was hella young. Yeah, I was like young, either nine, ten, how... eleven, twelve. Okay, okay, okay. I played football back in the day when I was a little kid. There's like this football camp that I go to. Like I went to for like two or three years consecutively. Okay. Yeah, there's like three practices a day and shit like that. And like, you came in at the wrong time. You came in at the wrong Bruh. time. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to step out real quick, mother. Thank you. Bro. Absolute worst time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I promise you I love my mom, but like terrible time. Yeah, there's like this big green room in like the college dorm we were staying in. And it was like, it was kind of like the chill room where like in between practices when everybody's kind of like chilling and unwinding and like just okay. trying to vibe. Like a chill Everybody, room? Yeah. And so there's like this kind of like meme for the first couple of days. It was kind of like the meme of the camp that year. It's like, it was sack tapping fellas, like hitting them as hard as you could in the balls, basically. So what? I'm like, what? 10 or 11, obviously, I'm not thinking. Like, nobody's fucking thinking. They're all children. And, like, the camp counselors got to unwind. Most of them don't come into that green room. And, like, and there was this kid. He just had his legs, like, wide open. His nuts was just hanging. I went what? straight up. I, I fucking socked him straight in the... Wait, wait, I'm wait. Surprised Bear? I'm actually surprised if that kid can actually have children. It was bad. Like, he was, like, on the ground crying and shit. And like his legs were shaking and like he was screaming and I like I like no the thing is nobody saw me do it. At the end of the day, <laughs> it wasn't even a camp counselor that came in and rounded us all up. It was like a big head honcho. Like he was affiliated with like the NFL players. He basically sat us all down and he said he said, <laughs> Who did this shit? I didn't confess. You you damn well know I didn't confess, but nobody saw me do it. So it's like oh, I thought demon. somebody saw me do it. Cause there's like seven hundred kids in the room there's no way somebody didn't see me do that you you killed this guy's kids bro i killed this man's kids and i got away with this scot free damn that's evil bro but so you just decided to do this for no reason 
it was like the whole vibe of the campus. Everybody was sack tapping each other. So I'm like, let me get my good one in. Cause oh, like, my. it was like everybody was doing that, but nobody did it like that. I mean, did you feel remorse at least though? Um, I felt remorse to the extent that like I didn't want to get in trouble with my dad. I oh nah, so you a kids. demon? Nah, you a demon, bro. No you was happy you demon. you killed this man's bloodline there, bro. At the end of the day, I was like nine, ten years old. What can you do? I was just a stupid ass kid. What, mean, what can you do? I never did that shit. <laughs> what can you I mean, do? Some kids are worse than other kids, brother. Yeah, that is true. You are definitely a demon, and since at the time. You feel remorse now, but at the time, you you wasn't trying to get caught, so you're definitely demonic, bro. So, I, with that, you are, I'm a you, demon. you are All not right. forgiven, bro, because if that fella really can't have kids, that's fucking smoke, but that bro, the is not was, it. I was calling him the nut neutralizer. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nut extinguisher, bro. Obama. Yo, Obama, get on the mic, bro. Where Obama at? Let, get on VC real quick. Let me hear a confession from Lord Obama. You're probably too young for this, but you do you know the uh, the television show Unsolved Mysteries? Do you know uh, about yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how it's just like it's like a mystery or something that happens. Like they never find the answer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my freshman year of high school, there was like three times where somebody would open their book bag and there would just be a big ass dookie in their book bag. What? What do you mean? Somebody was running around the school taking shits in people's book bags. Wait, where was yeah. this again? Oh, this is Louisiana. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so they, they would find a book bag, and they would just be like, just raw dookie in the, in, the, in the person's book bag. So the principal and the dean were going <laughs> ape shit trying to find who it was. <laughs> <laughs> like they. They had posters up over the all over the school. What? They made a nickname for him and every they called him the Unipooper. <laughs> I, I just remember that. I was like, bro, they they gonna find this motherfucker. They gonna find the Unipooper. Yo, and, nah. And like, uh, bro, they that shit happened like three times to three different people, and they never found him. They never found out who it was. <laughs> there was just somebody running around school taking. Shit people's book bag but how and you know how it works too it's like you don't even know until you in class you like you know you go you sit down for english like take out uh romeo and juliet you're like oh, oh. nah like, bro how do <laughs> there's no way he did that in broad daylight though like he had to have like taken what? the bag and then done it and then see, put it back this, maybe. see what you're doing now then what you're doing now this is what we did for like a year we're like we're trying to figure it out we're trying to come up with scenarios and how he how did he get this person's book bag to put the shit in it and then return it without them realizing it? You know, did he? We're like, how did the, how does this work? Like, what did, what? Did, yeah, we're, we're coming up with like theories and shit. That, that man, it, was, it felt like the whole school was like that too. <laughs> that man was probably in there giving hella suggestions, talking about, nah, maybe, nah, he didn't do this. He did that. Probably. He, yeah, you he know was, what? It's, it was probably some. It was probably some death note. Shit. Like he's a he's a little he's a little freak and like just like uh. He's trying to blend in with the normal humans, and he's hearing all this chatter and theories about how he's doing it, and he's just getting all to it, and like he's getting more and more ideas, right? Yeah, he was th he, he was probably throwing out hella hella fake ideas to 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 like uh uh push you guys on the wrong track. <laughs> like he was just like, nah, he couldn't have done it this way. He was probably doing it this way, and then he was just like, ah, motherfuckers, they don't don't even know I'm here right now. But we were thinking like he would wait for lunch take somebody's book bag because yeah because one of the theories was when we went to lunch we everybody used to put their book bags in the same spot so he would probably stay behind take somebody's random book bag and just go into the uh go into the bathroom and just do what he had to do and then just return it at random so then when they would go to their class after they would just, oh you know just like oh there it is boom so we, we thought that for a while but then he popped somebody in the morning, and we're like, "Bro, that's before lunch. He can't even be. He's on some other. <laughs> he gotta be." He, like, My man was planting, planting evidence to not get caught, bro. <laughs> that shit happened an entire year, and nobody found him. Either. Like, nobody gave him up. No, no, like, that was literally some death note. Shit. It, it just never. It was never resolved. That's crazy, and you know what's crazy? That guy is out there, and he probably he probably has told this story. <laughs> to like, <laughs> bro, to like, he's out. 
he's married, he got a family and everything, and just like, <laughs> but on the inside, he's still the fucking unipooper. He's the unipooper, bro. <laughs> bro, he, he, he picks his daughter up from school and he sees all her, all her, all her little friends in their backpacks and he's just like, you can see the gears in his mind start working. <laughs> He's like, he was like, damn. You know what I mean? He was like, damn, maybe I can do it one more time, bro. Nah, <laughs> not today. <laughs> no, Plots was, what if it was a teacher or some shit, bro? You don't ever know. That's we, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, what if it was just the, uh, the dean and shit? It was the you know, dean was the whole time. Kind of way. <laughs> he was definitely throwing them on the wrong, on the wrong tracks like, or shit. These man. kids. That, that's, this actually could be a documentary, bro. No cap. I always think about it in terms of that show, like Unsolved Mysteries. It used to be like William Shatner used to do it. Yeah. He would tell the story and then just like look at the camera at the end and be like, and they never found him. <laughs> just like that kind of shit. Yeah. God damn, bro. That's Anyway, hilarious. that was my story. <laughs> if y'all would have caught him, we would have had such a, good, such a good ending to the story, bro. But that man is still out there. You never know. He might be pooping. He's still out there. That's what I'm saying, bro. He could be at your school. You never know. <laughs> he probably moved schools and did it some other time. You never... You know, man, that's crazy. All right, brother, thank you for coming through. That was tight. Be sure to spam <laughs> those gangs in chat. God damn, Gang. bro, that was funny.